Hello everybody and welcome back to another spectacular video of Weekends with Brotacular Yeah, 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 baby girl uh, I don't know why I do that part, but I just, I like it a lot <laughs> Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another spectacular video of Weekends with Brotacular I haven't done one of these videos in a while And I figured I might as well do it and kind of be my normal self for a bit So everyone doesn't think I've absolutely lost my mind <laughs> So yeah guys I kind of want to just do an episode where I kind of talk and explain what's going on with the channel and kind of how I'm doing in general because uh, things have been kind of different so as you guys may have noticed I've been creating some very different content lately I've thrown out some overwatch videos here and there but I've also been doing these weird kind of skit videos which is kind of unusual for me now don't get alarmed I haven't gone crazy and I haven't exactly lost my mind yet. In fact, I've actually been the happiest I've been in quite a while. So for the past couple weeks, I've kind of just been creating these skit videos where I kind of play a different side of me. Uh, this side of me is kind of a little bit over the top crazy and he kind of just doesn't really care about what people think or, you know, he just... He has fun with life. But I've realized that within this character, I've, I've always kind of... I don't know, it's a part of me that I just kind of release on the spot. It's it's kind of like when I get angry or like it's it's stuff that I've always wanted to say but I never got around to saying it because I was too afraid of what people thought. And so with these skits, um, I kind of just, I sit down and I kind of think of an idea on the spot or I'm talking with my friends and an idea pops in my head and I write it down and everything that I do is basically improv. Uh, none of it is scripted, I, I kind of just come up with stuff on the spot and it ends up making me generally happy and uh, obviously it, I guess it's funny to you guys too. And all of it is kind of thanks to the character that I put on uh, in those videos. He's, he's definitely a, a weird side of me um, that just kind of manifests when I do those improvisational uh, videos and I kind of pride myself uh, when I play that character because I don't know it's it shows a different side of me but it you know it's I just don't want everyone to think that I'm crazy or that like this is the new me because obviously I'm right here talking to you and I'm obviously very normal I just want to show that the person that is coming out in these videos is not exactly me it's kind of a another side of me that I've always kind of wanted to let out and just kind of see what people thought. Uh, I never really played the character too often uh, because I was too afraid of what people would think. Whether people would judge him or people would think that he's crazy. It's, it's a different side of the humor that I kind of find funny. I understand I'm kind of rambling and not really making sense, but I don't really know the best way to talk about this character because I don't know what people are going to think. But anyways, enough rambling. Uh, just, just know that I'm having fun creating uh, these new type of videos uh, where it features me and just random skits and I've been noticing that a lot of people like it as well. Uh, views have been up, subscribers have been going up, everything is just going great. Speaking of which, happy 500 subscribers! <laughs> I can actually say that in a normal thing without creating some sort of weird controversial video about a platinum play button. PLATINUM PLAY BUTTON! <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Um, if you guys don't know, I created a channel uh, a while ago. It was called Brotacular as well. Um, it started off as Brotacular 13. I started it when I was in 7th uh, grade. And it, it basically, it came with me all the way up until the end of uh, high school. Which is when I decided to end the channel because I had so much old content on there. I didn't feel like it was professional and I didn't feel like uh, people would, you know, like the old content, but um, if the channel's still up, if you guys want to go look at it and see what kind of uh, crap content I made back in the day. But yeah, so that channel had about 600 subscribers on it, but after closing it down, it went down to 527, and uh, we're actually about to pass the point of my old channel, so I'm very, very happy with the amount of growth that we've had uh, over this past couple months because... Uh, it took me so long to get to 500 on the old channel, and it only took me a couple months on this one. So, um, it definitely makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm going down the right path. Um, it's It finally feels like I know 
what I want to do and kind of finding my own place here on YouTube because the hardest part about doing YouTube is trying to figure out what exactly you're doing on here. Some people, they just turn out to be a great uh, Let's Play channel. Uh, some people turn out to be great sketch artists. Some people make music. Um, and for me, I think uh, just making these silly videos and having fun is probably the best thing for me. I have no idea if this is actually going to take off or not. Um, you know, for all I know, I could just be making these silly videos and that's all I'll ever do and it doesn't really go anywhere. But I think I'm more happy doing that than making myself do let's plays and just trying to be something that I'm not. You know, I always tried to be, you know, PewDiePie or Markiplier or Jacksepticeye, all the bigger let's players out there. I always dreamt about being them. But it wasn't until a couple years ago when I realized that I couldn't be them and that I just need to be me. I just need to be myself. And as I found more about myself, I realized slowly that maybe I'm not the let's player that I dreamed I would ever be. Maybe the best thing I could ever be was just myself. And that's what I've done over the past couple months is just trying to be me or at least a, a different version of me <laughs> the crazy all-out version of me but of course I do have my sensitive side which I guess I'm showing today in this video just to kind of reiterate that I'm not the crazy overall person that you see in the videos that's just a different side of me that I like to play in my videos because it's just funny to me. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for all of the support lately. I've been getting a lot of comments since one of my videos blew up. It was the, uh, someone stole my intro video, which I guess kind of launched the idea of, uh, being this crazy character. I've been getting so many comments on that video saying, dude, you're great. I don't know why you don't have more subscribers, you know, and it's just, it's been amazing. It's, it's been really nice for people to... I guess relate to the character that I play because I think overall everyone wants to be that crazy overall character who can just say whatever they want and do whatever they want but in society we're just we're kind of forced to be this you know proper gentleman or proper lady or you know just kind of be a different side of you because we all want to feel normal. And I guess that's what's great about these videos is that for a moment in time you can watch someone not be normal for a bit and just kind of laugh it off and then continue being normal in your life. But anyways guys, I think that's enough rambling uh, for this video. If you want to leave a suggestion on uh, you know future videos, please leave it down in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video as it does help me out on this channel and let's hit that subscribe button and we'll reach a thousand no time. And as always, I hope that you have a super duper spectacular day!